All right. Who is our first victim? State your name, sir. What's going on, Brian? Um, hey, Brian. And I was wondering, I don't know how much you can say, but what's the deal with Stefano Caselli? Uh, I really, really, really like him. I think his art is gorgeous. Um, but it seems like he's been on and off with Secret Warriors. I don't know if he's doing any other projects with you guys. Stevie, you're the talent guy. Yeah, uh, Stefano's been hard at work. You know, on Secret Warriors, he had a, a, a couple couple family troubles that he had to come off on, unfortunately. However, he's been working very hard on a new project, which will be announced tomorrow, I believe. So uh, we love Stefano. He's one of the great up-and-coming artists we've worked with, one of our you know, young guns, and you'll be seeing a lot more from him uh, starting in November. That's all I can say for now. Awesome, thanks. thanks. Oh, thanks. Justin, CB has what my kids used to say, convention boys. <laughs> yeah. uh, Arun, love the mask, by the way. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah sure, it's yours. <laughs> All right, I'll go on my practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe, yes. uh, you've always been one of my favorite artists. Thank I was you. wondering, I know you're really busy, yeah. uh, you've got a lot on your plate, but are you ever going to be penciling anymore? Uh, uh, it, well, it's something, I, I, the truth of the matter is, I really can't do anything that has uh, a definitive deadline anymore. Uh, Omit's probably the last thing I'll do that's on a schedule. Uh, if I work on something, it'll be one of these things that I'll, I'll work you know, on the side. And uh, I got a couple of projects that I'm working on. Uh, that I'd like to work on, uh, but nothing right now. I mean, right now, the, 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 the my new role as chief creative officer is uh, is, is that interesting. CCO? Is uh, that how you do that? I'm oh, sorry. CCO actually. CCO, yes. CCO, yes. Okay, I like saying chief creative officer. Uh, it fills up a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> but the, uh, the the truth of the matter is that 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 one of the, the fun parts and one of the hard parts of the job for me is that, that I have to sort of define it as I go along, especially being in New York. So I do a lot of traveling right now, um, all over the map, um, and uh, finally going on vacation after this. So, uh, and I'll be drawing while I'm on vacation if it means anything to you, because uh, it certainly means something to my family. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I would like to do more, but I'd be lying to you if I could tell you that, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be drawing a 12 issues of Avengers with Brian Bendis, which yeah. Well, if you do it, we'll collect them, that's for sure. And that's, thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks. There's, there's one of the things about doing editorial retreats, if you if, when we sit next to Joe, like, you, you doodle incessantly, oh, and I know just as a fan of you're just sitting there like, ah. It's like, that's the only joke is out of art we're going to see for, for a while, because like, like, it just, you can see it, like, trying to get out. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, is, it is funny, when, when uh, the, the, those, those few days that I went, as I was working on Omid, where I would actually sit at home, and turn off the computer and turn off the phone and just start drawing, uh, I would sit there and go, boy, this, this is a good life. I could just do this and, and not show up anywhere ever again. And then you've, but now you've, you've moved to the iPad, so in our last retreat you were sketching, and I just remember thinking, like, those sketches don't exist anywhere. Like, like I don't get the, like, uh, I've got, like, Axel doodles from, from editorial retreats. So, you know, right. nobody scrams the notepads, but, like, you're doing it on an iPad, and there's no more actual art being produced, like, physical art being produced. Yeah. So for anybody asking questions, make sure you come up and get a comic personally signed by Mr. Matt Fraction after you ask a question. Ooh. Limited edition, Iron Man 25 that's, that's cover, only produced for this convention. So if you already asked, if you already asked, I think there's one person I missed, come up and get your cover. All right, Beekeeper 1 and 2, how are you? Yes, we are uh, accredited agents of AIM as representatives. Why Captain America and Iron Man are hoarding all the technology and not sharing it with the world like we want to do with the Cosmic Cube? <laughs> Man, for actually, you, you realize they're not real, right? <laughs> can, my, can, my, can my new title be Matt Fraction WTF? <laughs> uh, I uh, like your costumes. <laughs> I actually think they may have a cosmic cube, so I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah there's a, there's a, I see, I see a gun in one pocket. I'm, I'm worried that there's a knife in another. <laughs> I'm actually worried that's Ed Brubaker. <laughs> <laughs> These guys aren't moving until we get an answer. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you better, you better fess up. Huh? All right. <laughs> I think we should give them each a cosmic. Yeah, please, bug please take a mug and don't murder us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't eat your comics. All right. Give them a love. Give them one love. Just for the costumes alone, they get them love. I think I've got the air holes on the top of that. Go do some evil. We love you. All right. Who's next? Okay. Not so much a question as much as um, a political statement. <laughs> no, it's actually uh, it's an expression, expression of appreciation and gratitude, uh, especially to Mark, PC, uh, or CB, uh, Jeff, and Arun. Uh, over the last year, I fought cancer, and you guys were really supportive. And I'm seven months cancer free, so I just want to thank you. Thank you.
think one of those things that, that's great about working at Marvel and being part of this whole family is realizing the thing that's most important to us all. When we tell stories about that come from our imagination, there are around us all the time real heroes that inspire us to tell those stories, and that gentleman is one of those heroes. Hey there. Hi. How are you? Good. Cool. Um, first off, I'd like to say I appreciate everything you've done this year with your Women in Marvel initiatives. And um, I just wanted to ask, um, you know, how successful you feel all of those were, you know, with the girl comics and the Women in Marvel variant covers, to, you know, bringing further attention to the, all the ladies in your cast and what further plans you might have to bring them on the forefront and get them some attention. I think it was hugely successful for us. I really do. Um, I, I personally love the initiative. Uh, I love how the initiative started, how it came to be. I love the, the girls' comics. I thought were really fantastic. Uh, and and I, I think it, 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 it did what it was intended to do, which was really put a focus not just on female creators, but also the female characters in the Marvel Universe to, to get us all thinking about, you know, what's next. Um, you know, I, I know this panel in, in particular, there, there are a lot of fans here, a lot of the, the, the female characters. I know Brian in particular loves, like, Ms. Marvel. Uh, and, and you know, and Jessica Jones, of course, and all the others. But uh, I think it's been a hugely successful program for us, and I wouldn't be surprised if we do it again down the road as well. Thank you. Thanks. Not all that. Come to the Women of Marvel panel tomorrow. You'll probably enjoy that. Mark, Mark also wants to tease something. Uh, yes, um, there are some green ladies that might be coming back into the uh, swing of things soon. So keep your eyes out for that. The, the uh, announcement next week. Hey, man. Hi, I was uh, wondering if I could ask about the future of the Runaways movie and maybe about the comic, if there's something coming up for that. Um, can't discuss anything about the movie right now. Uh, maybe just further on down the lap line, but uh, the comic right now is on hiatus. CB, you know, you're, you're injured. Uh, yeah, the comic's on, on, on a hiatus for now, and it's not to say, you know, that we don't love the characters because we do. There's a lot of writers out there who are asking to uh, to work with, to use them. So you're going to be seeing some of the runaways pop up in a bunch of different books, sometimes together, sometimes separately. Uh, there's some stuff coming up with Molly. Molly was just in uh, the X-Men Baroque Age, uh, uh, Special of the Beast, uh, just because I, I love her and I didn't think I'd ever have a chance to write it. Yeah, so again, so you know. And we are, uh, we are planning to, you know, get the, the team and the book back together. We're just looking for the right creative team and the right direction for it, so there should be news soon. But at, at the moment, you're just gonna have to get your runaways fixed from some of the other parts of the Marvel Universe for now. Sure, thanks for asking. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if there were any plans for new warriors or Ghost Rider after Shadowland one shot. Hmm. Guys. It's, uh, I know it's too early to say I'm Ghost Rider. Um, and there have been some new warriors discussions. It's, it's way too early. Uh, I'm trying to twist, tr twist Bendis' arm here with some ideas, but we'll talk later. <laughs> I just can't say it right now. But there are some thoughts. Thank you. I just wanted to know, um, how has the creative day-to-day -day process been affected by the Disney buyout of Marvel? Um, not at all. Not at all, yeah. Not, not an iota. The, the beauty of the, of, of the Disney purchase of Marvel yeah is that we have economy to do what it is that we do. Uh, it's really sort of a perfect marriage. What, what, one of the things uh, that was really instrumental uh, for us in this purchase was, was the promise of economy which has been delivered. Uh, before we, we you know, approved the merger, uh, myself and, and a few higher-ups at Marvel were, were asked to go visit with Bob Iger at Disney. And, and Bob is just an amazing individual. Uh, a tremendous leader, and, and basically gave us his pitch, what, what he figured, what he thought would be the vision, his vision of what Marvel can be and what the Disney Marvel could be. Uh, and we all walked away saying, we have to really do this deal. It, it's just too good. Uh, if you see the way that Pixar operates with Disney, where they, where they do have autonomy to be Pixar and do what they do best, uh, and then contribute to the company as a whole, that's basically what's happening here with Marvel.